Welcome back to Canoe Live. In a community that's seen too many neighborhood shootings and death inside school walls, two young men from the Jane and Finch area are rising above the drama that plagues their surroundings by showcasing their life struggle on film. Joining us now is Tian Huynh from 24 Hours, who had a, a chance to chat with Paul Nguyen and Mark Sims, the young filmmakers who are bringing pride back to their home. Now, Tian, we know that uh, the Jane and Finch area is no stranger to gangs, violence, and this sort of thing. And, and it's easy for guys like Paul and Mark to fall into that life, but what made them take up filmmaking? Well, I have to admit, when I first met these two a year ago, I, the first thing I thought was that they were thugs. But, and they admitted themselves that they could easily fall into the gang, gang lifestyle that you mentioned. But from an early age, instead of picking up guns, they picked up a camera. They shot uh, independent films, music videos, and a documentary. And uh, now they are Gemini Award nom nominees, so good for them. Yeah, the, the documentary is lost in the struggle. As you mentioned, yeah, it's up for two Geminis, Best Directing and Best Editing, which is no, no small feat. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the documentary. Well, if you ever wanted to know what it's like to live in Jane and Finch for nine months, this is the movie to watch. It follows the lives of three Jane and Finch youths for nine months, and uh, we watch as they go through, uh, have to fight through gang temptations, drugs, violence, and the interesting thing is to see which one of the three is able to, like you said, rise above their environment. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul and Mark, they're, they're, they're also uh, being proactive. They're, they're trying to get back to the neighborhood as well, especially to those who are exposed to, to gang life and, and violence. How are they doing that? Well, I asked them if they won this award, would they ever leave the community, and they gave me a definite no. Uh, for instance, Paul, they, they're just too grounded in this community. For instance, Paul, he, uh, he directs music videos for kids in the area who want to be rappers. Uh, in fact, I hope he directs one of my music videos. <laughs> um, and Mark, he gives speeches at schools and also teaches martial arts to kids in the Jane Finch area, for anyone that wants to learn. The whole point is to keep kids busy in this area so that they don't uh, uh, go to other avenues. Well, Tiana, as we mentioned, so many negative stories we've heard about uh, this neighborhood, but thanks for bringing us a positive one. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, I'm rooting for these guys uh, on October 15th when the Geminis get handed out. Yeah, we all are. Thanks, Tian. Thank you. And for your home, if you missed Tian's column in today's 24 Hours, you can catch it online at toronto.24hours.ca. Now, from film to theater, it's